guys, it's your girl T, and I have another story that's once again coming from pitiful ass Pennsylvania. I done told y'all Pennsylvania's on the road this week. I guess nothing New York is taking a break for the East Coast people. So anyways, this story is really, really crazy. As we all know, the Fast and Furious 7 just came out. I took the boys to go see it yesterday. The other weekend, this woman named Cindy Williams, she went to go see Fast and Furious 7, and while she was in the theaters, there were some teenagers there, and they were being kind of loud, so she simply, shh. She just told them to be quiet so she can hear the movie. So when she told them to shush, they kind of, you know, cussed her out and told her to mind her own business, and she left it alone. So after the movie was over, these teenagers proceeded to follow her into the parking lot, and they jumped and they whooped her ass. This whole situation makes no damn sense what so damn ever. Check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my comments. It's 647, and we've all been there. You're in the movie theater, and the mm. people around you, maybe behind you, are just being a little too loud. So what do you do? One Pennsylvania woman took a stand and went wound up on the end of fists and kicks. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer joins us now. She's in the news center to tell you more about it. Nicole? Yeah, good morning, uh, Yuki and Erica. You know, Cindy Santa Maria Williams says she told a few girls to pipe down inside a movie theater at Stroud Mall in Stroud Township, a situation we've all been in, right? Well, that led to a confrontation, she says, left her with a black eye, broken eye socket, and bruises all over her body. Now, first, she says they started harassing her. Then, after she notified management, she says they joined up with five more teens, including two boys, and waited for her outside in the parking lot. Well, that's when she says she was bruised attacked she described the terrifying encounter and they immediately jumped on me and knocked me to the ground I cannot see those girls they were in my face their faces in my head if I see them again or in a lineup I know exactly who they are now, the Stroudsburg Area Police Department is reviewing surveillance video to help track down the teenagers who could face simple assault charges. By the way, the family also believes that cell phone video was recording that incident. They're offering a reward to anyone with information that may lead to an arrest. Live from the CBS 3 Satellite Center, Nicole Brewer, CBS 3. I'm All right, so you guys just checked out the news clip. This whole situation is just really, really sad. You know, sad that it's gotten to this point where you can't even feel safe at the movie theater. Theaters. This is why so many people would rather just stay home and not be bothered because there's just no more respect out here whatsoever. You have to be scared of crazy ass people opening fire and possibly killing you at the theater. But, but now you can't even tell these kids to be quiet and keep it down without possibly getting jumped. I mean, it, it just makes no sense. These kids were dead ass wrong for that. You know, when you go to a public place like a movie theater, you're not supposed to be on your phone, you're not supposed to be texting, you're not supposed to be talking, because just like you paid your money, she also paid her money to watch that movie. And for you to get offended because she told you to be quiet, I mean, to me, just makes no sense whatsoever. It just makes no sense that these kids are out here just wilding out and not caring. It's obvious they have no type of self-control, no type of discipline at home, because what child thinks it's okay to react that way to an adult simply telling them to be quiet? She didn't tell them to shut the fuck up. She didn't tell them to, you know, get the hell up out the movie theater. She just shushed them so she could hear what the hell was going on in the movie that she paid her money for. You know, it's a sad day and age, and I think if things like these keep going on in public places, especially like movie theaters, the movie theaters are going to lose more and more business. People would rather just watch a movie at home or just download a movie or just, you know, Netflix a movie as opposed to going to a theater if they can't even feel safe. So anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. That's once again coming from Pitiful Ass. Pennsylvania. All right, deuces. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Lovely T, and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media.